Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for Mac 20 Questions. Today we're going to have a bit more look at motion to see what we can do with it. Let's first of all go into the library and we'll look in our background. So if you're looking in content, then go to background. And there's one here called Encounter. There's a few different things that we've got in here. But let's have a look first at this one and see what we can do with it. Drag and drop it into a group there. Now this is quite interesting in that it is not just a straightforward background, it's got some animation already to it. And I'm going to just extend this out a little bit so that we've got the full length of the uh, thing at 300 frames approximately. And let's press play, see what happens. So you can see we've got a light effect there and it's moving around and everything. And that's uh, quite good, we could have that as a good start for background, we could add things to it and make quite a good video animation that could be a background for something else that we're putting into a video. So we found and put one background in there and maybe we'd like it to be a bit more interesting. Well there's a number of different things we could do. I mean starting with something like doing a duplicate. So there's a duplicate and that's just made it a whole lot brighter. And what we could do with that is to change it and make it so that it darkens. That didn't do much did it? Let's try something else. Let's try multiply. So that's kind of multiplied it and that's made it to look a lot uh, brighter and more jazzy perhaps. If I just turn one of these off so that we can see the difference between the two. That's a little bit insipid looking but then again with it on, yeah, that's better isn't it? That gives us quite a, a different sort of background that could be useful somewhere. Okay so let's uh, delete that for the moment so what else we could do. We could take something else out of uh, backgrounds here, maybe this one ethereal. We can drag that and drop it into our group. Let's put it so that it goes over the top of uh, the encounter one. It's looking quite dark at the moment, but uh, what we can do with that is we can change some of the uh, details of this. So instead, perhaps have it to the overlays. Then that looks quite nice. It makes the background look a whole lot better, I think. And if I just turn it off and then turn it back on again, you'll see the difference between the two. I think I definitely like that with the ethereal sort of effect to it. And let's get rid of that, see what else we can do. How about other world? Now this one's quite similar in some ways, but it's uh, got a few extra bits to it. So let's just try that and we'll put that in there and we'll stick it in above encounter. And we'll change the blend mode on there. And we'll have it as an overlay this time, perhaps. That looks quite good. And we could adjust it a bit more as well if you want to, maybe have it so it doesn't give so much an effect by adjusting the opacity. So this is with the other world affecting encounter, and this is without the other world. So I think I like it better with. So these sort of things here, these backgrounds, what you can do is you can put stuff on there like that, and then after that you could add your text on top of it and other things moving around, like having some shapes move around and stuff like that to make it uh, more interesting still. So uh, let's see what else we can do with this. We can put some shapes on there. Let's see what shapes we've got in our library. And we could have a diamond shape. Drag and drop a diamond shape on there. And we can perhaps give it some movement as well. We'll uh, go to our library and behaviours. And we'll have an animation of some sort on there. Let's go to basic motion. Let's try this spin on there. Let's put a spin onto the diamond and give it some spin. Okay, that's spinning now. Okay, we created a particle emitter there, so we've added a particle emitter to that. And we can add filters to this as well. We could have uh, insect eye. So you can see we've got this sort of uh, hexagonal shape happening over here. And it's going across the whole thing. Basically when it comes down to you have to just kind of uh, play with these things and just see what you come up with really, don't you? And find out what's going to suit what it is you're trying to do. So what I'm looking for really with this here is just to get a whole lot of different sort of textures and everything. Just so we get something happening that uh, is going to be interesting as a background for our video. And then what we're going to do over the top of this then would be just to put some text on there and have the things flying in from the side or left or whatever. And then we could go to our text tool, type in some text, select all of it, change the colour of it so that we can see it. At the moment it's white, that's not really going to do too well, let's put it in blue. Well there I was in motion and the thing crashed on me and didn't save what I was doing. 
I should have uh, been saving as I went along, and it's always a good idea, even with these applications that are supposed to be lionised and that'll save for you as you go along anyway. So what I've done is I've come back to this, I've uh, recreated to a certain extent, a little bit different. This time I've got Ethereal on top of Encounter, and I've uh, put in some text on the top of it, ready to do some animation with. Okay, well I think what I would like to do first of all is I'd like to put a fade in and fade out on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this, my fade in, and I'm going to drag it and drop it on top of Video Magical. Now you see with this fade in here, you can get it so that what it'll do is you can change it here like this, look. So this gives you more fade in by dragging it further over to the right. And at the end there you can see how much fade in you want on that as well. So that's a good visual way to see what's happening with your fade in and fade out. Let's give that a play and see how it goes. So we'll go back to the start first of all and press on play. And off it goes. And we've got a nice little fade in there. And it'll do the fade out at the end of that too. So when we get towards the end of this bit here. And we're pressing play and off it fades. So that's a little bit of a fade in and fade out we can do with that. That's quite good. Let's select our text again and maybe we could do something else with this as well. Let's go for a text animation and we'll do a sequence text. Automatically animates parameters sequentially through the text. And I'm going to drag that and drop that onto our text as well. So let's put that on there. So we've got a sequence of text happening there. And at the moment I've got no sequencing of the text happening. Why not? Let's change the spread of that. We'll go for 22 loops. Apply speed once per loop. And we'll go for unit size character without spaces. I'm just guessing with this to see what happens. It's, uh, we'll try anyway, see what uh, comes of this. Change the size of it a little bit there, look. So that uh, is going to give make something happen now. So let's go back to the start of where the sequence of the text happens and the animation. Well, it's a bit like a text with a heartbeat, isn't it? Okay, so that's uh, something we can do. I'm not sure if I like that, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, delete that. And we've got text basic. Oh gosh, we've got lots of different things to choose from there, haven't we? Cookie. That'll do nicely. Let's drag and drop that in there and see what it gives us. Get to the start. It's fading in and doing the cookie at the same time. It's like we've got text underwater there. Very nice. What I'd kind of like to happen is if I can have the fade in and fade out happen separately from the cookie. I'm grabbing the top, beginning of it and the end of it. And we're going to select that one as well. Bring that so it uh, comes to the end of cookie there. Okay, let's do a play in and play out and see what happens this time. So there it's coming in, just a fade in. And when we get to the cookie part, that's when it starts doing its video magical like it's underwater. Well, that's quite pleasant really. It sort of fits in with the uh, background features that we've got underneath. Well, there you go. All you need is to have some sort of situation where that would be just perfect. And you've got a nice bit of text there that will do a little bit of twiddling and fiddling. And then it'll uh, do a fade out towards the end there. Well, that's all for now for Mac 20 Questions and my new website, Video Magical. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.